Hey everybody, Jeremy Senpai here. Thank you so very much for clicking on my video. I do so hope that you like what you have to hear. If you like what you hear, then please feel free to hit like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Also, if you have any commission ideas that you want to hear from me, you can always send me a message over on my Instagram completely free. Now, let's get into the audio. And as usual, remember always, keep calm and put your headphones on. Now, let's get on to it. Well, well, well. You definitely have a lot of nerve finding your way here. You know exactly whose lair this is, don't you? Why, yes. This is the hideout of me, the genius jester himself. The leader of the Cross Guild. <laughs> I served under King of the Pirates, Gold Roger himself. I am a sworn brother of fellow Emperor Red Hair Shanks. I'm a sworn ally to my other Emperor, Straw Hat Monkey D. Luffy. <laughs> Why me, Buggy the Star Clown? I have to say, you were quite bold to come all this way. And you're unprotected. You're all by yourself. You don't even have your weapon drawn. So... I have to wonder, little lamb for the slaughter, what brings you all the way here? You did tell my subordinates that you wish to have an audience with me and me alone. Well, out with it. And if I don't like your answer, I'll have Crocodile or Mihawk take care of you with a snap of my fingers. Okay, I may be digging a bit of a hole for myself, but I really, really need to make this look good. I recognize this one. They're that new rookie from the papers, and their bounty. Ugh. It was so much higher than my old one back when I was a warlord. If I say the wrong thing, uh, I don't even want to think about it. But no, I need to put on this facade. I need to sell it. Well, speak up. The great Emperor Buggy is commanding you. Hmm? What was that? You... you want to become my subordinate. You want to work underneath me. Well, I can honestly say I didn't see that one coming. Uh, I was so sure that they were going to challenge me, just like Straw Hat did to Kaido and Big Mom. Uh, but I sure did luck out on this one. This rookie is so incredibly powerful, and their devil fruit... It's so much more flashier than mine. <laughs> if I play my cards right, maybe I can get this one to be my personal bodyguard. No, no, that won't do. If they see how Mihawk and Crocodile treat me, I don't even want to think about it. And then it would... Then the three of them, they could... They could... Bah! Uh, don't surprise me like that, you fool! Oh, mm, well, me being the genius jester that I am, obviously I'm trying to formulate different plans. So I'm thinking about your request, is all. If I should keep it or not. But I do have to wonder, little lamb for the slaughter. What gave you the bright idea that I would actually accept you? Good, good. Just lay it on a bit thick. If I come across as untouchable, that will only, that will only build more admiration. 
hmm, the guys really enjoyed this. Ah, so you were intrigued with me during my genius breakout of Impel Down, and the fact that I played such a crucial role at the Battle of the Best. Hmm, <laughs> yes. If it wasn't for the Warlords and the Admirals, I definitely would have had my shot at Whitebeard. But then again, Straw Hat asked me for help, and me being the honorable pirate that I am, I did have to drop my own ambitions for his sake. Hmm? There's another reason. Well, spit it out. I don't have all day. You what? They what? You... You love me, do you? Okay, this one is a bit off. I can honestly say I was not expecting this. Hm. Why, of course you love me. I am the unstoppable immortal, Buggy the Pirate Emperor. Hm. What is not to love about me? Hmm? You... You think I'm amazing. And you think my powers are really cool. You want nothing more than to serve under me, become a member of my crew. And you want to help me become King of the Pirates. You want to help me bring down the other... the other Emperors. Well now, you certainly are brazen. And wouldn't you know it, I actually do have plans for just that. Hmm, I do plan on challenging Teach and Straw Hat at some point. But as for challenging Shanks, let's just say he's last on my list. Ugh, mostly because I know that I'm not gonna stand a prayer against him. He's only gotten more formidable. I can talk shit at him as much as I want, but uh, even I know I can't beat him. Not unless I come up with a brilliant plan. Well then, you are quite fortunate indeed. I'm sure that I can find just the thing that will play your role perfectly. But for now, what do you say I give you the honor of being my personal bodyguard? Oh, you consider it the highest honor, do you? <laughs> well now, aren't you quite fortunate? I have thousands, tens of thousands of powerful pirates straight from Impel down itself, and many more have been recruited by my organization. But I haven't come across anyone quite like you, my dear. I dare say, you are the prime candidate to be my personal attendant and bodyguard, making sure I don't waste my time nor my energy on all those peons not worthy of my grace. Oh please, oh please, there's no need to bow before me. I'm merely stating the facts that you truly impress me. <laughs> all right then. Moji! Y yes, Captain? Hmm. Take this one and give them the grand tour of the base. They'll be starting fresh in the morning. But for now, they are welcome to eat, drink, and rest. Y yes Captain Buggy. Right this way, please. I'll take you to the dining hall. And they're gone. Hot damn! I really lucked out this time. 
I have such a powerful ally on my team that respects me even more than my own crew. <laughs> if I play my cards right, maybe, just maybe, they have extraordinary powers and abilities that the Navy have put such a sizable bounty on their heads. I certainly hit the jackpot having such a strong and powerful ally actually believing every word I say and they're even in love with me. <sighs> well, it does warm my heart to meet my admirers, but this one is a league all their own. Maybe, just maybe, hmm, <laughs> perhaps, Mihawk and Crocodile. Did you say something, Red Nose? <coughs> I, I didn't say anything. <sighs> I swear, I don't even know why I pretend to put up with you. I'll be outside. By the way, if the ghost girl comes looking for me, tell her I just want some time to myself. Yes, yes, um, quite good. You, you be careful now, Master Mihawk. <laughs> Sneaky bastard. I swear they need to put a bell on him. Ugh, I really need to watch what I say. It's a good thing I can put myself back together. <sighs> anyway... The genius jester is back in business. <laughs>